Hey, we are Team Nano Crafters and we are working on a universal biosensor design. So, what is a biosensor? A biosensor is an analytical device which consists of four parts. The first of these is a structural core to hold all the components together. Then there are the sensing elements to produce an input signal on detecting the target molecule. Followed by this is the transducer to convert the signal into a readable form and an output device to present the result to the user. We found that different biosensors are designed for different molecules. Each design works well with the type of molecule it was designed for. However, the adaptability of the design for an entirely different molecule remains an issue. Hence, we feel that there should be a universal design for biosensors which is simple, elegant and cheap. The structural core of our design is a hollow mesoporous silica nanoparticle or an HMSN which is simply a porous silica nanoparticle with a large cavity. These nanoparticles can be loaded with fluorophore tag DNA origami. Our team designed two variants of the origami structure, one with a green donor dye and the other with a red acceptor dye. In addition to this, the two structures have complementary guide strands which help them to bind to each other. These dyes exhibit the phenomenon of fluorescent resonant energy transfer. When the two dyes are at a distance less than the Foster distance, the fluorescent energy from the excited donor dye is completely transferred to the acceptor dye, leading to a red fluorescent signal. However, when the two dyes are far apart, the energy transfer is not as efficient and a yellowish fluorescence is seen due to the presence of both the colors. So, in our design, when the two origamis would be closer to each other, we would see red fluorescence and when they are far apart, we would see yellow fluorescence. These two origami structures are filled into different HMSNs. So now we have two sets of HMSNs, one with the acceptor dye and the other with the donor dye. To trap the signaling molecules, our team designed DNA-based gates. These gates consist of an aptamer, which is a single-stranded DNA that binds strongly to the target of the biosensor. Linker strands complementary to the aptamer and silane molecules which attach the gate to the surface of the nanoparticle. These gates can be selectively immobilized to the pore openings where they should form a mesh-like structure through which the origami cannot escape and hence gets trapped inside. Following this, a mixture of the two sets of nanoparticles can be taken and added to the sample to be tested. If the target molecule is present in the sample, it binds with the aptamers, hence disintegrating the mesh. Now, the DNA origami can easily come out of the pores. Once in solution, the two types of origamis bind to each other with the help of guide strands. This brings the two dyes closer, leading to a red fluorescence upon excitation. However, had the target molecules not been present in the sample, the gates would not have opened and we would have seen yellow fluorescence since the dyes would have been farther apart. Since the target of the biosensor depends only upon the type of aptamer, changing the aptamer can change the target of the biosensor. Thus, we can make different biosensors for different target molecules for a wide variety of applications using the same universal design. Furthermore, such a design could be used to create high throughput biosensors, wherein different biosensors can be immobilized in different wells of a 96 well plate. This can be used to simultaneously detect the presence of multiple targets in a sample at once, paving the way for cheap and fast biosensing. All this due to a little bit of sand and a lot of modular thinking.